Hello, everybody. We are here at Academy Day number six, and with us the Beauty and the Beat team. Uh, to get started, to please tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got into Archviz. Hi, guys. Uh, this is Victor and Eva from Beauty and the Beat. And, well, how we started this, uh, it was like a moment in my life in which um, I, I'm an architect and uh, Eventually in Spain everything broke up, so I was being like uh, working in my regular studio as an architect doing projects, and uh, but everything broke up, so it was like kind of a get fired, and I started to working with my ex boss in a just one um, one kind of one man studio, which was me uh, doing some kind sorry some kind of uh, competition architectural competitions. And the thing it was like um, it served me, it served me as like kind of a test tube, you know, for this kind of art to be the feel which I was really interested in. So the thing it was like um, finally I got fired for for that work in the end, and it was like uh, one month uh, before uh, having my first and only kid for the moment. So I thought that I, I should do or I should try like with that because I enjoy that and it reminded me a lot of when, when I was like a kid and was painting. It was some kind of completely free creation and uh, that's why uh, I started this and eventually came to what it is nowadays. So um, I think, uh, well, uh, he kind of seduced me because I, I was an architect also doing regular architect uh, projects and so um, when Victor rise up this uh, he has started teaching me things so he totally seduced me I think it's a much more creative way of uh, earning your living so he rolled me in the team and I'm very happy <laughs> so it's a kind of a small team kind of like a family family business almost Okay, um, I've seen your presentation and it's pretty clear you are uh, more towards the freestyle, Photoshop, uh, less uh, focus on 3D, doing stuff in 3D. Um, if you are looking for an artist to join your office now, what, what would you say uh, to them to focus on when they apply? What are the things that are most important to you, like three things you think are key? so the artist could fit your studio style and the way of work, even if it's that even important? Well, uh, I think it would be uh, doing uh, good uh, CG stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, it's not that we don't uh, think doing uh, good uh, CG or, or doing that is bad. No, no. I mean, we try each day to work in the time we, we have uh, for the for the competitions to do the best possible CG image because obviously if you have like a good base image for doing your magic afterwards obviously it will it would work it will work pretty much better so uh, it's and each time we try to improve our skills in that in that way in that direction so what we would ask uh, you know a, a new guy coming to the studio would be the first thing to use their brain. I mean, it's like uh, it's not a matter of technical, sometimes uh, technical ability, but to have like a trained eye for for storytelling, for for showing something relevant in an image. So it's like uh, obviously some you know technical skills in terms of matte painting, of uh, you know compositing with. Uh, photo references obviously because it's really important for us we each each day more and more we we work with photo references and all all, all the stuff so more or less that and also you know to have the, the most complete uh, formation you know you know that those fields uh, he or she uh, has to be multitask <laughs> because for us it's very important to work as a team and that everybody can help you in a moment. So it's, it's nice to have a multitask people in the team. 
So when you say that, you mean that one artist is not working on a project from start to finish alone? Okay, it's like it's okay. Okay, cool. Um, your schedule seems to be pretty intense. I mean, you, you you do work for really you know small amount of days. You need to turn out a large amount of images. When do you get a chance to like wind down? What do you do to relax? Uh, tell us a little about how is the life and beauty in the beat in Madrid. Well, lately uh, we don't have too many time to relax, but um, obviously it's important. As I told in the presentation, we've never done a night in our studio, and we plan to keep on doing that like that, you know, because as in images, I th we think that uh, we have to get balance in life, and obviously you have to, you, you got to have that that time, fr free time for you, even if it's for you know. Skateboarding, playing guitar, uh, looking, making photographs, or even doing some personal projects for yourself that could be related to architecture or with visuals or whatever. I mean, the important thing is obviously when you have th that free time, you have to profit well because it's like kind of a mental renewal for what is coming next week or something like that, more or less. In fact, as I, as I have a child, I have no free time. <laughs> when I have it, it's for him. So <laughs> yeah, we totally not think about it when it comes to women in CG. Uh, they, ha they have other things to do besides dreaming like we do. Uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, to wrap it up, uh, trying to touch the topic of new technologies that was kind of like pervasive throughout the presentation this Academy Day. Uh, if you what what it is that you want to test right now that is outside of your comfort zone okay like something new or new technique new software new technology what it is that you you would say like tomorrow i'm coming to the studio that's what i want to do i think we we could agree in this uh, but it would be like this kind of a uh, new uh, rendering video games uh, rendering engine such as unreal for example it's like uh, we are video freaks from long time ago so it came a point right now that it's like uh, it, it, we're super excited that the, te the technical stuff in, in video games it's like reaching ne near like hyperrealism. So it's it's it would be nice to test that out, but never forgetting that every new thing that we as a studio do or, or any other studio should be like translating that new technique or whatever in a personal way. I mean, you have to this style or all that uh, new feel or development or whatever in, with your own style, to give it your own style in all the, 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 the disciplines you want to expand. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank, thank you very much. It was a pleasure for me and I hope to see you again next year. Uh, so that's it and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>